And here we are in the middle of the woods at night. We are testing three things. One, I'm gonna be demonstrating this offset exit orifice. This is the device that, that you can get on my website, the INV83. Another thing we're gonna be testing is how hexachloroethane zinc smokes, which is basically zinc chloride, um, reflects infrared light and thermal imaging. So I have, I'm using a kind of a ghetto camera. It's a blink camera and that functions at 850 nanometers, which is different from night vision goggles, which generally operate at 940 nanometers. Um, although most good sets operate at both, I think. I think that's what I remember reading. Um, the other thing we're gonna be using is this thermal camera here. This is a FLIR E6 thermal camera. Um, I don't actually have the tactical gear, but I do have this for work, thermal imaging, and then an 850 nanometer uh, security camera. So what I'm gonna do is snap, oh, that's a gross bug. I'm gonna snap photos um, off screen, and then we can uh, go back a little further. All right, here's a control. I'm getting a control of yours. All right, you're good. Toss it. Nice. There is so much smoke from this thing. Isn't that insane, Petey? That's amazing. <sighs> <sighs> All right, so it did not block thermal. We'll check. Uh... Isn't that insane, dude? Oh, I should just hold it on the head of the fuse. Yeah, yeah. All right, so this washer doesn't quite fit inside of the base of this threaded canister. So the way it works is it'll naturally offset. Um, <clears throat> ow! Dude! All right, so it's naturally offset so that in the event that, uh, in the event that your composition generates more thrust than you're expecting, then you'll, uh, then it will spin in place. That's the idea. And it did seem to work, right? Did, that, did you notice that? Yeah. All right, so it did spin in place? Yeah. Awesome. Did it keep, did, did you see it spinning a lot? Um, I don't know. It might've been the angle that it was on, kind of a hill or a valley. Yeah, so it but, but it silent. didn't launch in any per particular direction no, no. significantly. We both just agreed on something that did not happen, and I think that we both knew it at the time. So I ran that transcript through Grok and, ha and asked it to analyze that interaction, and it came up with a few concepts. One, confirmation bias. Both the scientist and the observer seem predisposed to believe that the object should spin in place due to the experimental design. The next factor is social desirability bias. The observer may feel pressure to agree with the scientist's expectation to avoid conflict or appear competent. The scientist's leading questions, it did seem to work, right? Further encourages agreement, even if the observation is false. And the last thing that I want to hit on is groupthink or collaborative misjudgment. The interaction shows a mutual reinforcement of a false conclusion. The scientist's enthusiasm and leading questions discourage critical scrutiny, creating a feedback loop where both parties align on an incorrect interpretation. Yeah, so the reason for that offset exit orifice is so that it will spin in place. Now it smells like shit. Oh, it's because the leather from the glove burned. <laughs> oh. 
Here's a thermal imaging report. You could see that the smoke had basically no effect on screening. <laughs> it's almost laughable. There's some heat generated from the out, you know, the output of the smoke itself, but that's only surface temperature. And there's there's nothing about the particulate that is obscuring. Yeah, so hmm. fail on the thermal pass on the IR. The conclusion we can draw is basically that it works great for night vision and not at all for thermal imaging. Okay, goodbye. I love you.